everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Today, we are gonna look at the Monte Carlo decks. Uh, who are these from? Uh, well, these cards, from what I can tell, were manufactured by a company called GMZ Associates. Now, GMZ Associates, they're out in Brentwood, New York. Uh, I think they only have about four or five employees. Uh, their owners are Steven Zakin and Nancy Mattel. And from what I can gather from looking at the internet, they are a company that makes cards. Um, they are also perhaps a company that makes toothpaste. So yeah, uh, <laughs> um, I found these cards at my local drugstore and uh, I was attracted to the card box. I had a little hesitations when it said plastic coated finish at the top. Um, that, those are key words that always say don't buy these cards, but I just had to see if they were any good. I bought blue and red, but I only opened blue. And so for the sake of this uh, review, we'll only be looking at the blue today. The front of the top, tuck box, like I said, says plastic coated finish. It says Monte Carlo and poker and playing cards. Uh, the top says plastic coated finish. The sides say plastic coated finish on both sides. And the bottom has a UPC symbol. Um, the center pip of the spade has a knight. He's riding on a horse and he's brandishing a sword above his head. And there's kind of some ornate uh, floral uh, patterns around that. The back is simply a grid pattern. A uh, casino uh, full uh, pattern that goes all the way to the edge, almost, and has uh, tiny like asterisks uh, touching each other, like, kind of like tiny little snowflakes. The inside tuck flap says GMZ Associates, Brentwood, New York. That's pretty much it for this tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are about what you would expect from a company that makes toothpaste. Really, I mean, that's really what I'm happy to say. Um, feeling the texture of them, there's a tiny, subtle snap to them. They do have a little bit of a, a sheen, a gloss on them, but really once you rub them in your fingers, you can tell these are actually paper cards. Now, wouldn't you say, well, all cards are paper. Well, yes, all cards are made from paper. But uh, sometimes there's absolutely nothing done to them to ensure that the paper is either sturdy or that the cards will glide. I mean, right now, the cards have a little bit of glide to them, but you can tell that um, if they sit out in the, if you leave them in the tuck box uh, over time, they'll probably start clumping up. Um, there's absolutely no surface um, tension on them. There's no uh, pattern in them that would make them kind of catch air as they go by each other. And like I said, there's no, there's no real outside coating. This just feels like a textured or a, a laminate paper and so that's pretty much all you've got I mean for right now because they're new they 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 glide back and forth but I really wouldn't use these cards for anything other than camping you know cards that you want to uh, let a youth group maybe play with or if you were going to do 52 card pickup or some sort of game where you gave everybody a card uh, these I wouldn't use these cards uh, for much uh, they do have nice corners, they do have very soft edges, they do spring pretty well, but other than that, um, again, these are, these are drugstore cards, you know, about the quality of what you'd expect from maybe a souvenir deck. Back design, like I said, is a, is a whole bunch of asterisks. It almost looks like it would be a casino deck, uh, except for the fact that there's a white border, which makes it a poker deck. Um, there's not really much else to say. It's just a whole bunch of asterisks um, end to end, so it makes it a two-way back design very uncomplicated, uninteresting uh, back design, and it is what it is. A couple of extra features with this deck, your Ace of Spades, uh, very similar to the front of the tuck case. Again, your exploded pip with the knight in the middle, uh, riding a horse, brandishing a sword above his head. Uh, you're gonna get three jokers. I don't know why uh, there's three jokers, but there are. Um, there's two, two red jesters, and then there's one orange one. And so, other than the color differential, they're pretty much all the same. Uh, one other thing you're going to get is a, a rank of poker hands that is often included in um, other kinds of decks. Uh, it's not a strange card to have. Uh, so that's, I guess, uh, added plus. There was a weird, weird thing about this deck, and I don't know if it's going to be consistent through all the decks that uh, GMZ makes. But um, my deck, and you can't even really see it, my deck has a printed uh, line across the bottom. Uh, it's more of a shadow. Uh, in the laminate than it is um, a, a mark on the card. But it's consistent throughout the entire deck. Uh, it's a very subtle line. It's kind of like the line you'd see um, with something that was run through a printer. You know, it, sometimes printers uh, do this thing called ghosting. 
and they make images that aren't on the original master, and so that's kind of what I'm seeing at the bottom of all of these cards. Hey, I just want to grab the camera real quick and give you a close-up of the tech case. Originally, this is what I was drawn towards, you know? I, I like a really um, well-designed tech case, and, and the Monte Carlo cards, I think they do. It was just the cards themselves, uh, more, more the print quality, actually, uh, that fell a little bit short. And so, if they had been maybe on a stronger texture card, or maybe had a better run, probably would have liked these cards a little bit more. Uh, Pivot ADC cards, court cards, they're all going to be completely standard. There's nothing uh, unique or original about the faces of these cards. They are uh, completely normal and boring. Well, that's pretty much it for this deck review. As always, we recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. You can also subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. You can also follow us on Twitter, which is twitter.com slash magicorthodoxy, and you can also like our page on Facebook, which is facebook.com slash magicorthodoxy. Thanks. Bye.